So um, I know clearly why you schedule a team like Kalamazoo College when they're across the road. Um, but with a team like Northwood, was there any particular reason you scheduled them, schemes you want your team to see, or just, you know, any particular reason? No, I mean, they're, I mean, number one, they're in state. You know, number two, we know they're going to give us a challenge. You know, last year in their exhibition games, it was very similar. Uh, you know, we played them last year, and they played us in a regular season game, and they played us tough uh, uh, last year in the regular season game. In their exhibition games last year, they were either up or down by one or two to Central uh, before Central beat them, and uh, by 10, I think, and then against Nebraska. At Nebraska, they were down by one or two at half. You know, and so we knew that they were going to challenge us, and they do run some schemes. They've got some good shooters. Uh, Jeff does a great job on the offense. Their, their patterns are good, and we're going to have to guard patterns. You know, so um, you know, I was, uh, yeah, that's kind. Of, that's why we play these kind of games, and against a team that's really well coached and, and can spread you out and shoot it. And um, I know. Most teams, because it's NCAA rules, I believe you can only play two exhibitions. Most teams use one of theirs as a secret or closed door scrimmage. Um, why do you personally want to play two open scrimmages for the public to see? Yeah, we've done both. We've done both through the years. We've, sometimes we've played one uh, closed door scrimmage against the Division One. Other years, we've played two uh, two exhibition games. We have six new guys. Okay, this is the first time they've ever gone through a game day experience here. They don't know what pregame meal is, what pregame shoot around is. They don't know what what a scouting report looks like at the Division One level. Um, I feel like it was really important to get them used to game day more than necessarily the competition. You know, and so they've got to they had to go through it. You can see that in the first half. You know, and, and some of the guys were rusty. We got into foul trouble. Uh, you know, with our veterans, so it was great for the new guys to have to come in and get a lot of minutes in the first half. You know, but that's 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 why we do it. That's why we play games like this. Had to get out in front of the crowds. Guys in the striped shirt show up. Lights come on. Got to see how they're going to respond. Yeah. And uh, one last one. So um, your senior seven footer Seth Dugan finished with uh, 24 points, eight rebounds, and a block. How important is it for your for you to get him going and get him early touches in the game in order for your offense and defense as well to flow? No, I think it's very important. You know, he was. He got. Hurt. He's coming off of an injury last year, you know, and so um, he was playing. I mean, he was one of the key losses that we had last year, and, uh, and so for him to get off to a good start and play with some confidence, uh, get the ball to him early, uh, establish the fight. It's kind of like establishing the run to set up the pass, mm -hmm. you know. And so um, if we can establish some inside presence with him, even if he doesn't make shots, the fact that we're going to throw him there. Um, I, I think and get him touches, get him involved, uh, I think is important for him. Okay, well, thank you for your time, Coach.